Well, I couldn't wait until tomorrow. So um, after I left off in the last video, I just kept working and working and probably over processing this, but that's okay because um, I'm just gonna finish up here. I'm gonna take my yellow green um, because I'm gonna do all of these green grasses in the foreground here. So I'm trying to get a lot of paint on my um, plate palette here. And then it's not exactly that bright green. So in order to dull out yellow green, I am gonna need a little bit of red violet. So this is gonna come on my plate here. There's my red violet. I've got a lot of water, I mean white in my water right now. So it is what it is. And you know, variety is the spice of life. So I am going to add this green in here also even though there really is none of that, but I did use some of this green along the painting. And we'll add some blue green in here. I'm really trying to get this a lot of paint onto my palette. You'll see why in a minute. Um, and then possibly some brown tones in here. And then you know I also want to echo my colors, so I still need some yellow orange in here. There we go. So now I can take my piece of credit card that I have. And maybe you could or couldn't see that, but here we are, my yellow green, and I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to be oh so confident with this because I have to be. It's gonna take one stroke, and I'm probably gonna to have to add some white into these colors for them to show up since my surface is so saturated. Let's try this. There we go. And now just come with the side of that card and we are on a roll here. So I'm going to gra grab the side of this and I'm going to make a bunch of these bunches of tall grass. And this is going to take a while, but you understand, you get the point here. Some are shorter, I'm going to make some more of a dull green. And maybe I do need some yellow in here, so I'm going to add some yellow. Here's what that looks like, I'm just rubbing the brush on top of the paint. Down in here, here's where we have some of these shorter brown, orangey tones. Now I could do this with my brush. I'm just choosing not to. I'm just choosing to experiment with my different techniques. Um, oops, <laughs> I dropped my credit card in here. That's okay. And again, let's see what happens if I, there we go. While it's wet, I can pull some more of that bright green in here, I have the corner of it. And again, randomly, not all the same, we don't want the same. Mix that in. I do wanna make this paint a little more opaque, so I'm gonna add some more white to it and then go back over my green. Mix that in. Now here's what it would look like if I used my brush. My brush is not, um, I just can't get the tip of it that skinny. There's some more of this yellow. So maybe today I'm just going to do the brush and tomorrow I'll go back with my credit card over this once this is dry. And I can take, dip this in here. See, now that's gonna be wet on wet now and it's going to actually, um, blend, which I don't know if I want it to do. I do want some of this yellow orange down in here. And maybe some of this red. I don't know, I keep playing around with everything. You can do as you please on yours. Um, there we are. And we need some more in here. Ooh, that's super bright green. 
which I suppose is okay, but if I keep rubbing back and forth on the surface, I'm basically scraping into it. And I want to be careful with that technique because I don't want to scrape through my paper. There we have it. Grab some more edges here, and then now I'm going to come up with the grass into here. And again, maybe I'm just going to stick to using my brush today and go back tomorrow. I swear, there's it's more yellow green, so let's add some yellow into this. Here's a clump of grass in here. It doesn't all need to be the same. And I just paint right over everything that's, there's some over on this rock. Remember, a well-placed line. This one's from Proko. When he's talking about hair, remember he said it's better to have a confident line than to have a line that's all squiggly because you were trying too hard to place it perfectly. So it's better to have something a wee bit out of place than to worry about having it be perfect. And that's what I'm doing here with all of these tall grasses. And here, lightly using the tip of my brush, maybe let's grab some more yellow. That's a good green. I haven't decided if I'm giving this painting away. Most of the time I give my paintings away. But I know there's a few people in my family, of my family and friends who, and then this little guy, who um, live in the Fox Valley area here, and I'm sure they wouldn't mind having another um, Heather Adams, you know, original on their walls. There's that little leaf there. There's some green grass that comes up in here. See how I'm slowly working my way around and making sure it's nice and natural. Nothing forced. I'm just placing color where I see color. Letting them overlap. Suggesting all of these tall grasses. And I'm just having a good old time doing it, which is why I just I couldn't stop earlier. There are some um, orange grasses in here, and that's good because now I'm echoing the orange of the fox. Some of the reds and oranges that were in the fox. We've got some dried out grasses over in here. And then definitely some more down in here. The more I screw around with this though while it's wet is the more my colors are going to blend wet on wet and I don't, it's not, I don't really want too much of this wet on wet so I think I'm just going to hold off and that's sometimes the hardest part is knowing when to stop. Um, knowing when to say, okay, I need to put the brush down and back away from this until tomorrow when I can come back and look at it again. But so far, I think we are going to end up with a little masterpiece here. I do want to get this dark into here now, which is good because now I'm echoing some of the darkness from our... Come up into here. And we're echoing the darkness from our fox. And like I was saying, I normally give my paintings away. And I was thinking about giving this one away online here, except for the fact that I think I'd have some family and friends in the Fox who live in the Fox Valley area who would perhaps want my little fox that I've made here today. 
or for the past couple days working on this. All right. Well, I have echoed my colors. Oops, let's get a little bit darker over in here. There we go. Okay. I need to stop. This is the time where maybe. <laughs> I say I need to stop and then I go, maybe. This is the time where things are going to go bad if I don't just stop for the day. So again, painting every day for about a half an hour, 45 minutes. Build up the surface, keep working, and you guys are going to be master painters before you know it.